Okay, it seems my ults weren't kicked out of this room. So I can just keep them here. But damn, after this holiday... I'm, I wasn't able to do anything on the holiday because of like... And it was too bad to actually play WoW. But, um... It's been very... Like, I don't know, it's been really difficult for me to start playing WoW again. Like, I really don't want to. I hate the fact that this heroic thing needs to be done. Like, it's so stressful. I just want to play actually games I enjoy, rather than this trash. So we'll just go through all my alts in this thing. First. But, the yeah, epic story concludes in the zone. But I'm still probably going to be stuck doing this for far too long. <sighs> Why can't I just be the normal raid? Why do I have to be heroic? Like, I really don't want to have to reconnect to in my guild. Like, I've been enjoying the fact that I'm not getting abused constantly. I don't want to get back into that abusive relationship, but I might have to do it. get this done also got a pretty bad <laughs> cold the cold isn't too bad, but my ears are fucking abysmal. So I can't really hear very well, which is very annoying. But yeah, I honestly thought the story was done last week, but it wasn't. Another bit of bronze. Park errors. So the epic story will continue. And then I have a very painful process. I did learn an interesting thing though, that gear isn't made equally in this game. It turns out that the helmet, chest and legs all have more stats than any other gear piece. Except for weapons, weapons have more stats. 
Weapons have the most stats, then it's helmet, chest, and uh, legs. Then it's all the others except for braces and cloak, because they have, like, literally the worst amount of stats on them. Like, the braces and cloak have the worst amount of stats. And rings, like, are similar to all the other ones, except for they have more secondary stats than primary ones. You seek me. Like, or the same as, like, all the other ones except for the chest Go and thing. So, like, honestly, to get the best gear, you need to prioritize getting chest, um, legs and helmet. At least I think it's legs. It might be gloves, but I don't think it is. I think it's the biggest pieces of armor. Other ones that give the most stats, which kind of makes a bit of sense. You guys get to see the joy of doing boring covenant shit. And we're stuck with this trash in Covenant, which no one likes. Covenant that literally is all about erasing all memory of your existence. Just trying to level them. Shit, should I use the leveling things while I had them? Out of the thing. I've heard there's some memes though. Together we rise. There's some meme cinematics in this Go section. In Together we are strong. the story oh wait forgot to do that forgot to actually empower the thing I need to try and get that mount again I've been trying to get it like a bit like I was trying to get it but then I stopped playing like I'm not gonna lie stopping playing wow literally just makes me not want to play anymore because like I really struggled to replay like, I was like damn I really don't want to play but I do want to continue the story. It's just mainly the stupid fucking heroic thing. Like, it just makes me not want to play the game. Like, just after I take a break, it's just like, I really don't want to be doing this. I want to be playing an actual, the actual game which I want to be playing. Because I should have finished, like, Horizon Forbidden West, but I can't because of this fucking raid. And also, once this raid's over, I might actually speed up the um, the releasing of it because it's going coming out so fucking slow. But it's going to take me so long to get this raid shit done. Forgot what I was empowering. I so sad that you guys probably don't care at all. Like, this is so fucking boring. I'll do it in my other video later on. Nice reinforce. It's a shame I reinforced that one because I. Should have reinforced the other one because the other one's the one which I actually want because it's the one which gives me the mount and it's really fucking easy because it's funny like it's a puzzle but for some like it's like a thing we gotta dodge a bunch of beams but for some reason they don't stop you mounting up so you just mount up on a fly mount and just fly over the puzzle We can probably craft a mount, honestly, if I traded, like, all of them moats. Yeah, I could maybe craft a mount. No. At least I can craft some tier sets. I'm just hoping I can make my legendary into a tier legendary. So, yeah, you just touch this. And then bunch of blue shit appears on the floor that if you touch it resets you back to the beginning but you can just fly over it all and to the brazer so it's really easy but never managed to get the mount I haven't tried too many times I've only tried like 60 bucks of things yeah they only have one bastion ult 
Might as well just teleport there. No real point in going to the vault, because I probably don't have anything in there. But I'll just check anyway. Shit. Mm. Yeah, I don't think I have anything in the vault. At which temple do you train? Because I really Walk just didn't bother doing anything last week. <sighs> it's gonna suck. I just really don't want to do it. I just wish, like, the thing is, I'm not entirely sure whether I have, like, once they, like, bring out the next patch, whether I can still do it. I assume probably. And then it'll be a bit easier. But also, there's a high chance I'll just end up spending, like, about a mil, probably, to just get it done. I'll probably just have to buy a boost, which will be really sad, and... But... As long as we get to do it, I suppose. And we get the tracking mount. No, it's not in trash, it's a really good mount. It's the reason why it matters. There's just no reason for them to remove it. Why is there, why is there a dead fly just on that? What week is it anyway? Oh fuck, there's no bonus week bonus this week. Like they just decided to like not have a bonus. That's pretty shitty. That's pretty scummy. That's pretty blizzard. Pretty sexually exploiting employees. Nothing there. He has no quest. What parts of the raid finder can we do though? No. Pretty sure that's all the ones that we've already done. Or is it? Yep, that's all the ones we've already done. Close the portal into the nightmare. I'll open a portal into the nightmare. <laughs> Sorry about that. Fucks my ears when I do that as well. Go kill some fur blocks for a quest. I fucking hate the fact they put spoilers in the quests! At long last, we have thwarted the Jailer's schemes. No, we fucking haven't. That's the entire problem. Both the Forger Afterlives and Azeroth's World Soul have been restored. The Shadowlands cannot begin to recover the Anima Drought from the can now begin to recover from the anima drought. I know it is your nature to push ever forward, but this was a monumental victory and deserves a moment of reflection. I'd prefer not to. It looks like I don't need to do it to actually continue the um, continue the story, so I might just not. Okay. We have convinced the Enlightened Brokers to provide additional supplies for the battle against the Drailer. Visit Bolo, the Enlightened Quartermaster, to see what he has available. And his... No, no, maybe I do have to do it. We stand at the origin of the Shadowlands. We must not allow this place to become its undoing. Do your stupid dailies. So he has new shit, does he? Must you always stomp about? 
Welcome, please be my wares. Several of them may assist you in crafting legendaries. Whatever happens, Legendary stock. Fuck this. That's pretty cheap, actually. No, I can actually buy that. I need to get this, unfortunately, it's such a waste. Go on then. And yep, looks like we have to see spoilers to continue the story. Fuck my life. Okay, what we got? Nothing sold. Box of things. And so the spoilers continue. Let's see what it, whether it tells me what I need to do. I know it does not. Ah, fucking hell. Okay. Much spoilers inbound. The chains. You have betrayed your duty as Arbiter and shall be bound forevermore. Your madness has threatened the cycle of life and death in time. You could have sought another way, brother. Imagine what we could have accomplished together. Why, Zobar? What drove you to this end? You preserve that which is doomed. A cosmos divided will not survive. What is Oh shit, we're trapped here. Forever. And so a character that literally no one fucking cares about dies. Ugh. Hate, I fucking hate the fact they spoil shit like that. Yeah, the shell ends begins today. Prisoner of interest. With the jailer defeated, we must now turn our attention to healing the wounds inflicted he inflicted upon the Shadowlands. That process begins with Sylvanus Windrunner. Though she proved instrumental to our victory, the terrible atrocities she committed under the jailer can never be for, uh, forgotten or forgiven. Well, they can. She is to face the new Arbiter's judgment in Ouroboros. Ufer awaits you in the Ring of Fates. Together we will escort Sylvanus to the Crucible. I shall deliver the Crown of Wills to the Arbiter. Then we will bear witness to the fate of Sylvanus Windrunner. <sighs> Fuck. Am I even going to do quests in the zone? I really need to cheer up. <laughs> I'm being so fucking depressed. <laughs> you know what sucks? They refuse to let me call this a fetish imp. Yeah, if you look at the pets... The fuck is this? 
Blizzard, let me call it a fucking fetish imp if you're gonna literally have a pet called Fetish Shaman. So now it's a fetish imp. Instead, because foot fetish. Be warned. Their words will be harsh. I expect no less. Amanda Forboss was like this. No other players. So nice. Oh shit, a player. But that's not what you want to see. <laughs> Word of Sylvanus' arrival has spread throughout the Shadowlands. Many wish to see her pay for her crimes. Well, they're wrong. The Arbiter awaits us. Though few are allowed within the Crucible, several who hail from Azeroth have been granted permission to witness as he passes judgment on Sylvanus. Yet we are far from the only ones affected by the carnage Sylvanus has wrought. Her actions have brought pain and suffering to the great... Yeah, uh, to a great many. Screaming back at the Banshee as she passes might be their only chance to see speak their mind. Let them be heard. Speak to Ufin Orobos to escort Sylvanas to the Enclave and begin the ritual of karma. Let us be on our way. Wagtail. Oh, need to talk to you. Let's go then. Let us proceed. Sacred groves. No, you did that yourself. Torment is all you deserve. Wrong. You tend beyond measure. I need wings too. How many souls have you doomed? You, you betrayed us all. My home, my family, all burned to ashes. Maybe you should have been fucking faster then. Is it justice they seek, or vengeance? Vengeance! Vengeance! Anger and pain make it difficult to tell the difference. Hey, remember this item? Fidget spinner. <laughs> Let's go. Come forth and be judged. <sighs> Your purpose is enshrined, it seems. Let's go to the crucible. Well, that's a lot of people. I thought you said Berlin was a lot of people. souls into the Maw has ended. The Covenants and the Shadowlands have been restored. Only one task remains. Oh, who let that piece of shit up here? And that one. Fucking hell, both the worst night elves. You know, I had to do it to them, though. Thank you for joining us, my friend! My soul bind! I feel that it is important that you hear the witness of this mo- That you're here to witness this moment. Let's hope it isn't too bullshit. The time has come. Let us bring this dark saga of Sylvanas to a close and herald a new dawn of to the Shadowlands. Speak to me when you are ready to begin. Let us begin. Let us begin. You know you had to do it. Um. <sighs> All remains to judgment to be passed. Sylvanas Windrun, the time for your judgment is at hand. There can be no true justice without compassion. And I can see your deeds bear the mark of the Jailer's influence. An influence we failed to contain. The Jailer did not 
control me. My actions were mine alone, and I accept their consequences. Then you know in your heart to whom you must answer. I submit to the judgment of Tyrande Whisper. Entrusting justice to your most fervent adversary. Are there any gathered here who object to this fate? So be it. What game do you play now, Banshee? The Sylvanas I hunted would never submit to the blade of her enemy. Death would be a merciful end, Tyrande. And I do not expect your mercy. Your newfound remorse might be genuine, but it can never erase all you have done. There will be no peace for you, Windrunner, until there is peace for the souls of your victims. The prisoner is in my charge now. Bring her! I will judge souls with compassion. How could I possibly pass judgment to Tyrande's satisfaction when she, she and her people were the ones who were most wronged by the Banshee Queen? Thank you. When I became the new Albator, I vowed to myself that I would listen to those around me to take their counsel into consideration before passing the eternal judgement. I have an inkling of what Tyrande intends for Sylvanas. Her fury is tempered by wisdom, and I must trust in her decision she has made. Meet her at the Ring of Transcendence and see the judgement come to pass. Speak to Tyrande at the Ring of Transcendence. Brings both punishment and renewal. I trust in Tyrande to achieve both. Uh, I kind of don't, but anyway. Two judgment. Oh, wait, that's what he said. Hello? Is there anyone down here? Where the fuck are we going? Where am I going to go? Fuck, where are we going? What the fuck are you doing in Bastion? Ew. Oh no, Bastion's like the worst area. Oh no, she's not in Bastion. And now, after so long, there is much we need to say to one another. I know, sisters. But judgment comes. Cumes. The Banshee tore a gaping wound in the soul of my people. She set our home aflame and set countless Kandore to the moor. Whatever judgment the Arbiter hands down can never balance the scales. Nothing can, or he can do, can do or say will ever be enough. Below lies the moor, an unjust fate to which you doomed so many, and it will be there that your Penance begins. Every soul lost in its depths, betrayed or condemned, you shall find and send forth to the Arbiter to be judged with the compassion all souls deserve. You will toil there under Dorotha's watchful eye, scouring every darkened reach until 
the final soul is free. And you are all that remains. This is how you shall bring Rinlu to your victims. And my people. However long it takes, it shall be done. Undo Falado, old friend. Watch her well. Yeah. <laughs> Much lag. <laughs> At least they have a mountain in the moor now. If you didn't have a mountain there, if you couldn't mount up in the moor, that would be fucking torture. It was awful when that was the case. Justice for Tarasil, peace for the Kandorai. Fuck the Kildorai. The Banshee's penance will save countless lost souls. A fate that would not have come to pass had I slain her in Ardenweald. Perhaps that is why Mother Moon stayed my hand. I thank you for your aid. Soon I must return to Azeroth to begin healing the Kaldori and preserving our future. Fortunately, time moves a little differently in the Shadowlands, so she might be doing fairly fast. My Hello! Is at the ready. After witnessing Sylvanas' deed during the war, I feared... The last visage of my sister I knew was far gone, but when I heard what had transpired here in Shadowlands, I had to come and see for myself. I'd understand if you thought me a fool for st still having hope, but I have not lost <laughs> so many. Uh, I've lost so many that I loved. Hope is not lost. Nah, it's understandable. So is a good character. She only got ruined by the last few expansions because Blizzard shit at writing. In there. And there is the event, even chance of the spark of Sylvanas I knew still re uh, has returned. Then I refuse to give up on her. Stay a while and listen. Together we will save Azor. For so long there had been little more than hatred and malice in our sister's eyes. To at last see a glimmer of the Sylvanas we knew. I had ceased hoping for such a thing. I am pleased we had a chance to speak with her, Varisa. I only wish we'd had more time. You can go in the more if you worry. want. But if she stays true to her word and sees this obligation through, perhaps one day we will. It will never be like it was before. The pain she inflicted upon the Kaldori, upon the world. How could she ever answer for it? I'm not certain she can. But if her penance brings any measure of peace to those she wronged, at least it is a start. You are right, Lady Sun. Our family has endured so much darkness. We must find a way to cling to hope. Yes, little moon. Mother. Father. Lyrith. They are only memories. We thought our sister was as well. But now, we shall see. But where the fuck do I go to complete the story then? Do I just go back? Do it then add more death. The fuck? Can we not finish the campaign yet? Who's there? Yeah, I got more talking. There is much As I sat, sat on the phone, frozen phone for years, I felt a malevolent shadow upon my mind. I didn't realize it was the jailer attempted to twist me into yet another of his pawns. It took all of my resolve to resist his influence, and I still, I have no wor uh, worries of knowing, no way of knowing how many of my actions furthered Ice Crown Citadel's true purpose. That is the most insidious part about him. Even after the jailer was defeated, the doubt and he sowed 
within each of us lives on. Yeah, Bolvar Lich King was a bit weird. I fear darker days without the helm of domination to control them. The scourge roams leaderless. Nothing remains to temper their aggression. Indeed. The mightiest among them already Among them! Like vicious warlords in the wake of their king's death. We cannot allow any of them to seize command and unite their forces. The Ebon Blade must remain vigilant. And so we shall. Though Azeroth may never truly be rid of the Scourge, we will keep them in check. You have my word. Ice Crown Citadel remains a seat of dark power. We must not let it fall into enemy hands. Perhaps I should return to. No, Bolvar. Let the frozen throne sit vacant. The Knights of the Ebon Blade will safeguard the Citadel in your stead. Talia needs her father. Therian. Thank you. Strange, is it not? We both lived lives of service, and even after facing death itself, we still feel compelled to serve others. Sometimes, the greatest act of service is to be present to those who need us. Until we meet again, High Lord. Law. Is there anyone else who wants to have a chat up here? But yeah, do we have to wait till next week before we, till we can craft legendaries? No, not legendaries. Tier set. Or is it just not shown up on the map yet? Oh fuck's sake, what the fuck do I need to do? Do I really need to wait another week to finish the story and be able to craft my tier set? Looks like I probably do. I will glean their Don't forget the recipe, do not get the recipe. We can go to the forge anyway and see whether it works. Probably won't. I'll look into it. If, like, there is some way, I'll just do another video. If there isn't, we'll just have to wait. Back off, mate. Even the pristine waters of Zeret Mortis are corrupted by Mosworn. But I may have something that will help. The zone appears a little empty, which is understandable. Oh, fuck's sake. I forgot about these. Square, square, square. Zenet, more doubts. Is this zone empty? Yeah. 
Do you feel it? Do you feel the crippling depression taking its toll upon thee? Hey, imagine if, like, the Soul Forge was literally designed so that you can't even fucking use it unless you fucking clear the raid. Well, it sounds like the sort of shit that Blizzard would do. Like, you can't make your fucking tier set unless you clear the raid. Well, this is where you craft the legendary the thing. So let's see if we can use it now. I doubt it, because we had no quest that sends us here. Yep. Hmm. <sighs> I guess all I can do is just grind a mythic plus which is literally the worst thing and try and do the raid How long can this go on? How long can this go on? Well, I'll look into it and if there is more, if there is a way to continue, then I'll do it. If there isn't, I guess we'll probably won't be making videos for a while. Actually, have a look at the world quest first, see if there's anything new there. Nope, doesn't seem to be. Okay. Got this stuff for the... thing, so I recorded another episode. Haven't got my Ethernet wire plugged in though, so it isn't very good. But, I tried to add this to the end. But... Like, I've been feeling really ill, so I haven't done any raiding or Mythic Plus, sort of a bullshit. Fuck's sake, of course nothing. Can that box actually contain anything? Like, I think it's only ever given me cloaks. Fucking cloaks. That's so shit. Like I explained, cloaks literally are the worst piece of gear you can possibly get. But yeah, it turns out that you there is no more story this week. But then also, there's no story next week either. The actual story of the zone continues on the 14th for some reason. So, for some reason, there's nothing next week. There might be something a bit like the Sylvanas thing, because, like, that was some story, but it wasn't, like, the actual story of the zone. But I decided I'll open a few of these, maybe. I'll, like, open two of these boxes, because we have loads of spare ciphers. Really, I can only carry one of them at a time. Fine, I'll just open the box and hope we get something good. Nice! We got the raid item! And we got zero... Ooh, we got a bit of gold as well. I was hoping for a few moats. With a bit of luck, we'll get the avian parts. Ooh, we got a staff and a glimmer in motion. I can't use that yet. Alright, I'll send that to an alt and learn that. But yeah, we you can get I think you can get any of the crafting parts from that. As well as like a few transmog items.
but yeah, there's no there's no story next week. Like or like, uh, well, there might be story, but like the crafting of the ability to actually craft the um your st shit starts on the fourteenth. Like being able to actually craft yourself some gear, like your tier set. So yeah.